This is the GAC Weekly presented by the Great American Conference. I'm Joey McWilliams, joined by my broadcast partner tonight, Michael Westbrook. And it's nice to get to work with you. Nice to have you on the GAC Weekly, by the way, too. Hey, well, thank you. Enjoyed it. And we had a great day of baseball here in Enid. And we have had a long day of baseball here. And we got some bonus baseball at the end. But let's go ahead and get things started. Uh, our first game of the day featured an elimination game between Arkansas Tech and Southwestern. And it pretty much uh, was, was a day that was going to go to the Wonder Boys. Good hitting. They wind up with a 9-5 win in, in the contest. And Jared Droll came in in relief uh, four and a third innings, and he comes away with the win for the Arkansas Tech. Yes, and for the seventh consecutive game, we saw the winning team score at least nine runs. That's been a key number here throughout the GAC tournament. Arkansas Tech battled during that game. Proud of Southwestern for coming away with their first tournament win a day before, but, uh, you know, ultimately Zach Saunders and his club end their season. And then Tech, well, their season ended up ending, on, ending a little bit later on in the day. That's true, and we come to that just a little bit later on. The middle game today was Southern Arkansas and Henderson State. It also was an elimination game. A little bit interesting to think about Southern Arkansas playing in an elimination game, but they do nothing but that, it seems like, and they, they're always successful here in Enid. They come away with a 9-7 victory. There's that number nine once again for the eighth consecutive game. It took nine runs to, to win a ball game here. Uh, the big run, uh, inning of the day, though, is Henderson State got up 5 nothing within the first two innings and held a lead throughout, but Southern Arkansas just wouldn't go away. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And, again, we thought, well, here we go. Henderson State is uh, really bursting out early on, that big 5 nothing lead. But then – Southern Arkansas did what Southern Arkansas does. They were able to get to the bullpen and chase the starter out of the game. And then all of a sudden it was uh, Austin Baker who made the difference. That's right. The seventh inning is the Mule Riders put a five spot on the board in the seventh inning, and they come away with that 9-7 victory, get a couple of insurance runs during the end, a grand slam again by Baker, and, and uh, what a big hit that was, which takes us then to our nightcap tonight. So Southern Arkansas moves on. They'll be playing on Championship Tuesday tomorrow. They'll be playing at noon. They were going to be playing Oklahoma Baptist one way or the other at noon. It just depends on how Oklahoma Baptist is going to get there. And in our nightcap, they took on Arkansas Tech coming back through. So this is an elimination game for the Wonder Boys, but it's also – uh, a game in which Oklahoma Baptist, if they lose, they're still going to be playing tomorrow, but they could take that one loss. Would they go in undefeated 3-0 and so they could move on and uh, put themselves in a position to win a championship outright and sweep the GAC tournament in their first appearance? And the answer is yes, but it took 10 innings to get it done. That's right. Now, we have seen in GAC tournament history a team go all the way through without a loss. Now, that's been the last two years with UAM with the tournament played in Arkadelphia. In Enid, we have not seen a team go a perfect 4-0. and Oklahoma Baptist will be trying to do that tomorrow. What a game. They led 3 nothing into the ninth inning, and then Arkansas Tech several occasions. Joey, they were down to their final strike. They scored three runs in the ninth, but then in the tenth, it was the big hitters for Oklahoma Baptist. That's right. They, they got back to the middle of the lineup, got a runner on, eventually loaded the bases, and then it was Jake Gozo in the bottom of the tenth with a skying single to right field, the eighth walk-off hit in GAC tournament history, and it was a big one. Oklahoma Baptist wins 4-3. So the lineup for tomorrow looks like this. It's a noon game. Oklahoma Baptist will come in. With no losses, if they win, they win the GAC tournament. If they lose, if Southern Arkansas wins, there will be the if necessary game, and that will be at 3.30. We'll have the call right here on the Great American Conference website. You can watch it on YouTube. Go there also, greatamericanconference.com, and click on the championships tab, and then go down to the baseball tournament homepage. We've seen only two teams ever win a GAC tournament title. That could still be the case tomorrow. But isn't it interesting that the old guard is back against the new guard, Oklahoma Baptist? A very, very, uh, very strong way for Oklahoma Baptist to be making its first appearance in the GAC tournament. Well, Michael, I, I've had fun today. It's been a long day, though, so we need to get some rest. That's right, we do, and uh, looking forward to the championship contest Tuesday at noon. All right, this has been the GAC Weekly. The GAC Weekly is brought to you by the Great American Conference. To hear this and see this and more about the GAC and other high school and college sports, please visit oklahomasports.net and arkansasports.net. And be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search youtube.com, search Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams for Michael Westbrook. Thanks for watching.